What's going on everyone? So today I'm putting this fab shop. We got a quick video um, doing some welding clamps for our new little welding table. So let's get started. So I got my little table set up. I've been practicing. I haven't really had to use clamps a lot. Um, but one thing about these clamps that it came with that I'm not really too happy about is to use them you got to thread this nut on to the bottom when you're up here around the edge it's fine but if you're moving them around a lot reaching up underneath there and threading that on until it's tight and everything's kind of a pain in the butt um, I wasn't too worried about it I wasn't just gonna run out and buy stuff for clamps or more tools for this table but the other day I'm walking through Harbor Freight and I see these clamps and I kind of had a aha moment not because I thought of this or this was my idea it's because when I was shopping around for my table I uh, I seen a video where a guy was assembling one and the channels the fab for him and I used to keep up with him quite a bit I kind of keep eyes on his channel and I was watching a C10 he was building and he was doing YouTube back when I had a dream about doing it or thought it'd be cool, but I didn't have a place to work or equipment or anything. So I thought it was really cool to watch him and the stuff he was doing. And in the last couple of years, I've got so busy that I don't really have a lot of free time to just watch YouTube anymore. And I'm looking up welding tables. I come across one of his videos and I watch where he assembles his table and his table's way beyond what this one is. I mean, it's a really nice table. And in a suggested video after watching that one was some welding uh, table clamps. I don't know what it was called. But in the video, he builds his clamps out of these ones. I seen them hanging up in Harbor Freight, and I was like, those are the clamps he used. I'll build some. I'll show y'all. If y'all want to watch him do it, feel free to hop over to his channel on the Fab Forum and watch it since he did it first. Give credit where credit's due. But if you want to watch it here, we're about to do it real quick. So... Let me give you a quick breakdown of what we're going to do with these things. So quick release clamps. You have your little lever here. You can slide up and down. Once you get it close, you can crank that thing down. That'll hold stuff in place. These things are cheap. This thing was like $3.20. And then the larger ones were like $4.30. So, you know, 15 bucks will get you four of them, basically. And all we need to do is... Remove this lower piece by removing this pin, shoving it out. I have some different stock here out of my scrap. It don't fit up the best since my table's not super thick, uh, but we'll make it work. And we're gonna cut pieces of this to length, add a little slit in it, drop that down in there, weld it up. And basically when you go to crank this down on something, this will wedge in here and then you know, it just makes it a lot easier to move around versus uh, those other clamps where I have to thread the nut on there. So they may not be able to clamp as tight. I'm not sure. I, I haven't used one that style yet. Like I said, I think the tabletop being thicker would probably help. But that's a quick rundown of what we're going to do. So that ain't worth the crap. Pretty simple. Cut the head of that uh, pin off on one side, drive it out, clamp it up, Tap the uh, clamp out. Heck, I don't know how to say that. Sound like an idiot. Now we're gonna do the other three real quick after I go see what's on fire because I smell something burning. I don't know what's on fire, but it's not my house, so we're good. So next I'm gonna mark me out four pieces of this, probably inch and a half a piece, and I'm going to cut them to length, and then I'm going to cut a little slit in each one, probably about a half inch deep or so.
Oh. I will say it's nice to have the TIG for little projects like that where with, you know, just a little bit of filler, um, I can weld this thing together. No trying to zip that real quick with the, the MIG or having the spatter and everything. Just a little bit of filler rod and good to go. Said as it wedges, you'll see it stands up. Can't move that thing anywhere. Um, I probably welded that one at too much of an angle by the looks of it, so. The next three I do, I'll take some of the angle out. Again, try to get this more vertical. Uh, but overall, it's a lot quicker clamp than moving those things around. And for, you know, this one, four bucks and a fun little project to do. So what do you guys think? Let me know down below. Is this thing worth spending four bucks having a piece of scrap and you know, probably five minutes of clamp? Or would you just stick with the ones that came with it? Um, I'm curious to see what you guys have to say. Um, I'm gonna finish up the other three on my time. I'm about to have to go pick up the girls. So if you guys wanna help me out, all you gotta do is like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment down below, those things help my channel grow. They help keep my videos relevant in YouTube world. And I always appreciate it when you guys do that. So thank you. Um, if you're on Instagram, you can find me there at Puddin's Fab Shop. And I will see you guys in the next video.